Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's Steve coming at you. Hope you're having a great day. Well, it's cold out here today. <laughs> For me anyway, where I am in Texas, it's um, 26 degrees. Now I know for some of you that's like, man, I can be outside in my short sleeves and, and, and gym shorts kicking it in 26 degrees. I get it. And I'm sure for our international, my international subscribers, uh, that is 26 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll have to do the math on Celsius. I am not sure what that would be Celsius, but it's still 26 degrees. And for a guy who's not used to 26 degree weather, that's pretty cold. So just to let you know. But I want to touch base with you about something that's really annoying me. Cancel culture has been going on for years, as you guys know. And I think they feel a little bit emboldened since uh, Joe Muppet got elected. And they've, they're they coming for people, and they actually, and they've been coming for this young lady uh, for a while now. And they finally got her, uh, Gina Carano. Gina Carano is a former MMA fighter uh, who's started movies and is also one of the uh, co-stars of The Mandalorian on Disney, plus uh, playing Cara Dune. Her character is a former um, soldier, ranger. And she was a fan favorite, still is a fan favorite in The Mandalorian. Uh, character really kind of hit it off with a lot of people. And it turns out she personally, her own personal life, is not a leftist. She uh, she's, she leans more conservative. And what probably is she's probably much more centrist because she is just against woke culture and people not being able to speak freely and, and and be who they are. She's she considers that a problem and problematic amongst cancel culture. She's definitely not a friend a fan of cancel culture. So what happened was she got fired by Disney or by Lucasfilm uh, more precisely because of a tweet she sent out. And the tweet was essentially she was making a comparison saying that, you know, before the Nazis could go around and round up the Jews, the first thing they got them to do, people, the people in Germany do was just kind of distrust and despise and, and, and turn their neighbors in, turn in, turn in their neighbors who weren't complying with certain rules um, under the Nazi governance when it came to Jews. And they got kind of neighbor to be against neighbor, neighbors to turn each other in, uh, neighbors to denigrate Jews simply for being Jew, Jewish. And that's how it got to a point where the Nazis could just take stuff from them because they were considered less than at that point. And she was saying, well, how is that any different than people getting treated and then being denigrated and being punished for their political views, being having different political views? Now, was it heavy handed? Yes. Was the comparison apt, though, that it makes sense? Yeah. I mean, people people have to say it now, especially in Hollywood. There are people who are conservative leaders who are afraid they're essentially they're in the closet they're afraid to say how they feel their their views because they will get canceled it will affect their livelihoods they don't want no trouble we saw that last we saw that last year when uh rioters and blm and antifa were going after conservatives after trump supporters after republicans simply for being that not that they did anything wrong but just simply because they voted and believed differently that's that's the point she was trying to make. But Disney came after her, or essentially Lucasfilm came after her. Why? Because they were just looking for an excuse. They were already trying to trying to get rid of her once, but she's such a fan favorite, they didn't dare do anything. Her tweet offered them the perfect excuse. They said that she was denigrating cultures, and they won't stand for that. And she wasn't. She didn't say anything derogatory about Jews, unless they meant Nazi culture, <laughs> She didn't say anything derogatory about Jews. She was basically making a point that Jews were first basically uh, persecuted simply for being Jewish. And the neighbors were doing the persecuting. It wasn't the Nazi troops at the time. It was neighbors. And that's how it all starts. And now the same thing was happening or very similar thing was happening with conservatives and with uh, Republicans and different believers, Trump supporters on the right who are being denigrated and beaten up. Uh, chase, chastise, uh, rioters coming to their homes uh, in the middle of the night. All that kind of stuff was happening on the uh, literally as early as last year. And that's the point she was trying to make. When do you, you start somewhere? When is it? Where does it stop? 
So they got rid of her. Now, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, my Disney Plus is gone. I'm not trying to hit at. And then uh, Jenna Ellis, who was uh, one of Trump's legal uh, great, I mean, very sharp young lady, who was one of the lawyers in the Trump case for the, uh, not the impeachment, but rather the recount efforts and how the election was fraudulent or that there was, there was a lot of disparities in the, the election. She, I saw her tweet, yes, uh, tweet yesterday. Let me get this straight. People who are against cancel culture are showing their disapproval of cancel culture by canceling Disney. Now, Jenna, I love you, but that was a dumb thing to say. That wasn't very bright. Because there's a big difference between cancel culture and canceling a subscription. Oops, sorry about that, guys. When you cancel a subscription, you're showing your displeasure with the company because of what they did or said, the actions they took. Cancel culture is seeking to put people out of work, destroy people's lives. That is not the same thing. Please understand that. It shouldn't be that hard. And there's a gentleman named James in your comments, Jenna, who made that pretty clear. So, James, shout out to you. Thanks for explaining it to the people who just don't seem to get it. Uh, now, that's pretty much all I have to say about that, guys. I'm really disappointed. I think we didn't need to go there. We didn't need to get to this point. I miss the America that used to be free, where you could actually express what you believe, whether people liked it or not, and it was okay to have a different opinion. Now, maybe you agree with me. If you do, great. Let me know. If you don't, give, let me know that too. Leave a like sh and the, or dislike and the, uh, leave your comments. I look forward to all that, but please like, share, comment on the video. Either way, I appreciate y'all. Hope you're having a great day. Y'all take care.